I think one of the most important areas in nanotechnology and one of the most important areas in science and, and human effort is the interface between nanotechnology and biology. And we're now at the stage where we can start thinking about engineering. We can take nanoparticles, we can put on antibodies, we can put on nucleic acids, and we can have them go out and do what we want them to do. This is engineering, and engineering is a great thing. But one of the things we have to remember is that there's science involved too. And where that science comes in is what happens if we take the nanomaterial and the biological component, we put it together, and instead of getting A plus B, nanoparticle plus biology, what if we actually get something surprising, something new, something that neither system alone can do? That's, I think, where the real excitement's going to be. Can we create systems that behave more comp with more complexity, with more surprises, with more excitement? If we can do that, then we have the opportunity to really go after health in a way that we can't at this point. We can create systems that can do more. That, I think, is the future of biology. And I'm looking forward to seeing some interesting things and uh, going interesting places with it.